Dr. Nkongi highlighted the struggles faced by women, noting that many have lost their businesses due to digital limitations. She emphasized the need to empower women economically and provide them with the tools to overcome these challenges. Many women have been given a yoga. You give someone money to do a yoga, but without actually preparing this woman, where do you expect, how do you expect her to use this money? Many women have got, have remained in very small businesses. The association aims to move women from small businesses to manufacturing on a larger scale. Dr. Nkonge expressed the desire to collaborate not just at a local level but also at international scale, specifically mentioning discussions in regard to value addition for exports. Uplift them to a higher level. We want to do the manufacturing businesses. We want to work together because it's not only a Nigina thing. This is a business which we want to go. Actually, when we were talking to the Turkish embassy, we talked about, you know, value adding. We want to export some of their products. They have very nice products. It's only the value addition that is needed, and then we go to the level of exporting their things. When asked about the criteria used to select the five women sent to India, Dr. Nkonga explained the process involving applications and selections made by the Indian High Commission. The Indian High Commission made the selections, but that does not mean that many more won't make it. We are expecting to every month to, to, to educate, to take women to India, and we are expecting them to come back and teach and be trainers of trainees. She expressed gratitude to the Indian High Commission for their support and emphasized the plan to send more women for training in future. Dr. Nkonge highlighted the importance of understanding the grassroots women and the need for partners who are connected to the community to address their specific issues. We want the government to know that we are partners and we can come and help them. We want the government to know that the grassroots woman, much as the government is trying to reach the grassroots woman, many have not benefited yet. They need partners who are loved and known by people. They need partners who have been working with the people. The association plans to expand its membership, reaching out to young girls and boys for master's degree programs. I'm lucky to have been chosen among the first group to be going to India that is going to be learning about uh, promoting innovations and entrepreneurship through incubations. I feel happy, elated, because this is an opportunity for me to go out to the university and learn, and then I can apply the knowledge that I get back here. The Twambuke Women Farmers and Manufacturing Associations Initiative is a significant step towards empowering women in business and manufacturing. Sudat Kaye, UBC News.